characteristics of living and non living things in this module you will learn about the characteristics of living and non living things learn to differentiate between living and non living things sid and alicia are doing their homework in the lawn come let us join them look diamond is running behind a butterfly alicia and sid on the other hand are sitting on a chair and are busy studying we can see that sid and alicia are surrounded by many things some of these are living while others are non living for example diamond and the butterfly are living things but the notebook the teddy and the chair are non living things just like sid and alicia we all are surrounded by living and non living things do you know how a living thing is different from a non living thing well there are certain characteristics that a living thing has but a non living thing doesn't come let us look at these features one by one all living things need food since plants are living things they also need food they make their own food instead of depending on outside sources food provides energy to all living things which allows them to work and grow another characteristic of living things is that they grow a baby grows into an adult a chick grows into a hen and a sapling grows into a plant all living things breathe animals breathe using their special body parts for example a fish uses its gills to breathe human beings use their lungs to breathe insects use these holes to breathe plants breathe using tiny openings present on the surface of their leaves these tiny openings are known as stomata all living things move from one place to another even though plants do not move from one place to another certain plant parts show movement towards the sun all living things produce young ones of their own kind animals can produce young ones either by laying eggs or giving birth to a new animal for example a hen lays eggs while a cow gives birth to its calves the process by which living things produce their young ones is known as reproduction ouch another characteristic of living things is that they can feel living things also feel the changes in their environment they undergo changes as the environment around them changes a change in the environment that causes a living being to change is known as stimulus the change in the living being caused by the stimulus is called the response for example when we touch a hot object we immediately move our hand away from the object here the hotness of the object is the stimulus and the removal of the hand is our response in the same way in a particular season some plants shed their leaves here the change in the season is the stimulus and the shedding of leaves is the response a thing is living only if it shows all the characteristics we have just discussed if it does not show any one of these characteristics it is a non living thing you may have often seen a balloon increase in size that does not mean that the balloon is a living thing its size increases only when we blow air into it 
it cannot grow on its own similarly even though a car moves from one place to another it is a non living thing this is because a car does not eat food and grow moreover it does not move on its own it moves when we drive it hence both balloon and car are non living things let's recap living things need food to grow living things move on their own living things breathe living things reproduce young ones of their own kind all living things can feel living things respond to stimulus anything that does not show all the characteristics of living things is a non living thing 